Hey, what is up everybody and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the best, not five, but six best screen mirroring apps for your iPhone. They're completely free, they're free to use, and they're probably the best screen mirroring apps on the App Store. And I've searched for hours, trust me on this, these are best free apps for screen mirroring your iPhone to your TV or computer. So let's just dive right into it. By the way, don't worry about it, I'm gonna show you exactly how each of these apps work okay so now let's dive in all right so the first thing we need to do on the iphone no matter what app you're using is to make sure your iphone is connected to your wi-fi so just make sure your iphone is connected to the wi-fi all right so the first app we're going to be looking at is going to be the replica app i'm not getting paid by these guys i genuinely feel like this is one of the best screen mirroring apps that i've used uh over the over the time so no ip addresses no nothing once you open the app it'll automatically show you all the tvs that are running in the background so to make sure it works we need to make sure the uh, tv is also your tv is also on the same network okay so let's do that so my iphone is on the uh, my home wi-fi so we have to make sure the tv is also on the home wi-fi so go to the settings go to the network settings and go to the network settings inside the network that way you have the option to enable or disable the Wi-Fi and connect your TV to your home Wi-Fi. As you can see, mine is connected to my home Wi-Fi. That is pretty much it. By the way, this is not an Android TV, okay? All right, so once the TV is connected, open the Replica app and click on your TV. Every time you click on it, it's gonna ask you to buy it. But if you look at the top right corner, you have the option to escape it. It takes about eight seconds. You just wait for eight seconds and there you go. You can skip it. All you have to do is just click on the exit and uh, there you go now it's going to ask you to start the broadcast and all you have to do is click on the start broadcast wait three seconds and bam we are connected no ip addresses no nothing this is why i love replica app i genuinely feel like this is one of the best screen ring free best screen i mean one of the best free screen ring apps i have used for my iphone and I've, I've been using it for as long as I actually remember. So it's it's still free, by the way. All you have to do is just wait eight seconds and that's pretty much it. You can watch YouTube. You can even listen to music if you want to. You can uh, you can watch videos. You can uh, view photos. You, can, you have a lot of options, by the way. You can even play games too. All right, so if you want to stop this, if you look at the top left corner, you have the option to stop the broadcast and that's it. Pretty simple, right? All right, so the second we have screen mirroring. Unlike the replica app, this is a tiny, tiny bit different, but it works just the same, okay? Once you open the app, once you open the app, you'll see that it will ask you to buy it, but don't worry about it. If you look at the top right corner, you have the option to skip it, just like we did in the replica app. All you have to do is just skip it, and now you have a big, big red icon of mirroring. All you have to do is just click on it, and again click on again that big red icon once again of course <laughs> so just click on it and it's going to ask you for a tv by the way this at this point doesn't matter what tv you select as you see i selected the wrong tv so don't worry about it even if you select anything else it works just the same okay so it's going to ask you to start the broadcast just click on the st start the broadcast and that's pretty much it now once you start the broadcast, it's gonna give you an IP address. As you can see on your screen, we have an IP address. You have to remember that, okay? You have to keep it running, and we need to place that IP address into any browser it's gonna work. It can be PC, it can be TV, or whatever you like. In this case, I do have a browser in my old Samsung TV, so just go to the Smart Hub and go to the open smart hub. Of course, this is old TV, by the way. If you have a better TV, this is gonna work much, much better, okay? So open the smart hub and go to the apps, all apps. In this case, I do have a simple web browser, but again, if you have Chrome or a better browser, it's gonna work better. Trust me on this, okay? Once you open the browser, as you can see, it's really, really slow. I apologize about that. So once you open the browser, go to the uh, website and Type in the IP address we just uh, got from the uh, uh, from the app. As you can see, we have 192.168.1378.8088. So I want you to type that IP address. Gonna, it's a hassle, I know. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna uh, speed up the process. Okay. So I'm just gonna type the address. Really simple. Nothing fancy. Just type in the address as is. Okay. Nothing fancy. 
as is. Just type in the address. Lost code is going to be the port. That's the port number, by the way. 8088. And once the IP address, and once you place the IP address, all you need to do is just press done. And uh, there you go. It's syncing. There you have it. Pretty, pretty simple. Unlike the Replica app, Replica app doesn't need, doesn't need the IP address, of course. So that's why I feel like Replica has edge over all the other apps that I'm, that I'm about to show you. So uh, pretty simple. There is a tiny bit of a lag, but as I said before, if you have a better TV, this is going to work better. I've tried it on a better TV. It works better. It's, it's more smooth. It's more HD. So yeah, the better the TV you have, the better the quality you're going to get. So yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty simple standard. Just like we, uh, just like we saw before, you have a lot of uh, you have a lot of options. Again, if you want to stop this, really simple. If you look at the top left corner, you have the option to stop the broadcast, just like we did with the replica app. And there you go, bam, that's it. That's that's how you stop it. All right, so on we have number three. It's gonna be the screen mirroring. Names are the same, but this is by far one of the straightforward app I have ever used. Open the app and you have the option, nothing else. You have the option to open the link on your TV browser. As you can see, we have tv.app. Unlike the IP address, we need to type tv.app on the TV. It's that simple. No more instructions. All you need to do is to type the address in the TV browser. So I'm going to type the address as you can see, I've done this before. So it remembers. So just type the TV dot app as you can see on your screen and click done. That's it. And once you are on the uh, once you're on the website, it's going to give you a code and an actual barcode. So as you can see, we have two options. Now on your app, you also have two options. Of course, you can enter the code manually or you can scan the barcode. I've never done the, I've never scanned the barcode because it asked for the uh, permission. As you can see, we have the code. So what you want to do is to just type in the code manually. As you can see, I might type the code pretty, pretty simple. All you have to do is click on connect. Now, once you do that, it's going to ask you to either buy it or watch an ad. Just click on watch an ad. Just watch a simple ad, wait a few seconds, and there you go. Click exit. Now you have the option for the TV cast. You have a lot of options you can see, but we, we're going to be uh, doing the screen mirroring. Okay, so just click on the screen mirror and it's going to ask you to start the broadcast just like we've been doing all the other apps, all with all the other apps. So just click on start the broadcast. Three, two, one, bam, we are connected. And uh, by the way, since I've told you before, this is a really, really old TV. So it's going to ask me for permissions every single time. Okay. So what you want to do is to just click on allow or show out, show all, of course, depending on what TV you have in this case, just show all. And that's it. That's how it works. By the way, you can let me know in the comment section below which one of these apps you like the most, by the way. Yeah, but I, I feel like Replica has probably edge over all the apps that I've used uh, over the time. So yeah, it's pretty cool too, but I, I feel like replica is pretty good, but that's it. All right. So we have last, but not the least iMedia share. This is probably one of the, my favorite, by the way, this doesn't exactly work like a screen mirroring app, but it works great. So once you open the app, you have the option for the photos, videos, or music. You can also use network by the way, but I don't, I've never used that before. So I don't know. So go to click on photos. I'm just going to show you how it works. Click on photos, select an album and select any photo you like. Once you click on the photo, it's going to ask you on what device do you want this to be mirrored to? In this case, as you can see, we have Samsung TV right behind it. So it's going to, it's going to give you the option for the Samsung. Just click on it and it's going to project that photo onto your TV. As you can see, this is by far one of my, it's, 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 I know it's not exactly screen mirroring, but this is by far one of my favorite apps because it's just really simple. To be honest, all you have to do is just swipe left, swipe right. It's going to automatically mirror that photo video or even music to your TV. So I often use this app, but that's it for the video. I do have it in an end note, by the way, I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, let me know in the comment section below and like the video. Also, if this video is helpful, please leave a uh, subscribe. Okay. I'll catch you in the next one. Well, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you liked the video. By the way, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely, definitely get back to you. That's it for the video. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.